preach to us, amen, to get it right, hallelujah, ain't God good today, amen, I, I, I want to go to my scripture today, which is found in Romans 10 and 8, Romans 10 and 8, amen, certainly under the Lord today, amen, and under our pastor, Superintendent Castleberry, first lady on the Bible, and Elder Jemison, amen, and all of the elders, and all of the women of God. Amen. We thank God for one more chance. Amen. To be in his house. Amen. And to be a servant unto him. Amen. I just said, Lord, make me a vessel. Make me a vessel. Prepare me a vessel that you may pour out through me. Hallelujah. Hey, sometimes the vessel get beaten up. Amen. That's all right. Amen. But we have a dishwasher. We can run it through. If a vessel is brass, amen. We can we can tarnish it and clean it with our brass cleaner, amen. Set it back on the shelf, amen. So it's nothing strange when fiery trials come in your life, amen. But God is the God is the keeper of our soul, amen. The inside, amen. God is the keeper of our soul. You have that those verses Romans 10, 8 through 15. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth, and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if I shall confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, what whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Yes. For there is no difference between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that come upon him. Yes. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him? Of whom they have not heard. And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. And bring glad tidings of good things. I got a question. Show of hands if you would. All of the people here that are saved today. Amen. If you're saved. I just wanted to take a poll. A mental poll. Amen. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Amen. A lot of saints and saved people here today. Isn't that good? Amen. Thank the Lord. Thank, Thank the Lord. Lord. I will attempt here to speak the word of the Lord today from this topic. A sure salvation. <laughs> All right, sir. All right. A sure salvation. Amen. And that, that choir song just really said, I said, that was a sermonic selection. You know, Lord. Yes. You know, I showed my hands. Yes, but the Lord knows. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whether I'm right or wrong, amen. Lord, you know. That's sure salvation. This evening uh, breaks it down as such, and you may be seated, amen. You have my topic. All who are acceptable because of their faith simply say, the message is as near as your mouth. Amen. Or your heart. And this is the same message we preach about faith. Yeah. So you will be saved if you honestly say, Jesus is Lord. Yeah. Say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Can I hear it again? Jesus, Jesus. Is, Lord. is Lord. And if you believe with all your heart that God raised him from death, yes. God will accept you yes. and save you. If you truly believe this and tell it to others, amen. 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 We have to work on that, don't we? Amen. We have to work on the telling it to others, amen. amen. Sometimes we can be saved, amen, and no one else would ever know yeah. unless you say so, amen. amen. And then some people can read you like a book, right. like the Bible, amen, and know that you're saved just from looking at you. Yeah. But there are some yeah. that you're going to have to witness to, amen. amen. So tell it to others. The scriptures say that no one who has faith will be disappointed. No matter if that person is Jew or Gentile. No matter what color they are. Amen, or what ethnic persuasion they are. Amen. That God knows. Amen. There is only one Lord. 
And he is generous to everyone who asks for his help. Yes. All who call out to the Lord will be saved. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. If you're in trouble, amen, then you can call out his name. Yes. Amen. You will be saved. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Sometimes the first thing come out of our mouths when we're in trouble and our back is against the wall. Yes. We're thinking that we are all big and bad and everything. But I hear a lot of the Jesus. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. That comes out your mouth because that's in you. Yes. you. It's birthed in you. Amen. To have some point of Jesus in you because he's our father. Amen. How can people have faith in the Lord and ask him to save them if they never hear about him? We got to tell them about him. Amen. We got to tell them about him. And how can they hear unless someone tells them? And how can anyone tell them without being sent by the Lord? Say a word, son. Hallelujah. The scriptures say it is beautiful. It is a beautiful sight to see even the feet of someone coming to preach good news. Amen. 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 Good news is on the way. Amen. Amen. You know the preachers in the house. You know pastors here, our father, spiritual fathers here. Good news good is on the way. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. A sure salvation. Yes. A sure found salvation. The yes. preacher, the preacher planted the message. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And the evangelist waters it. Amen. Yes. Amen. And also, God gives the increase. Yes. There you go. Amen. There you go. So we just to plant. The message, amen. amen. And some water the message, amen. amen. But God will give the increase. Yes, sir. So I'd like to speak to you from this story that I read that said that Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom was deeply moved on a church service. Afterwards, she approached the preacher and said, Can one be absolutely sure in this life? Of eternal safety. Uh -huh. Can you imagine Queen Queen Victoria? Yeah. Amen. And some person in such a high position, yeah. rulers over a nation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Had that question after being prompted by the preacher uh -huh. in the church in the service. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So I guess no matter what status you are, how high you are, right. or how low you are, the gospel is for you. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. It's up to you not to harden your heart, but to receive it. Yes, hey, man, when he come, yes, the queen sir. approached yes, the preacher sir. and said, can one be absolutely sure in this life of eternal safety? He did not have an answer, though. <laughs> the preacher didn't have an answer. But the evangelist heard about the queen's question. Uh -huh. Heard about the queen's question. And after much prayer, he sent the queen a note. And it read, with trembling hands, but heartfelt love. And because I know that we can be absolutely sure now, of our eternal life in the home that Jesus went to prepare. Amen. May I ask your most gracious majesty to read the following passages of scripture. So you know he said with trembling hand because protocol is really serious. Uh -huh. yes, sir. When you approach yes, a person of high authority. Yes, sir. Amen. Protocol is very serious. Yes, amen. Serious. She has the power to say well, who do you think he is? Yeah. You know to tell me something. But he just wanted to answer a question that she had made, but he did so humbly. Amen. Sometimes we can be forceful in approaching one. Amen. But we have to be careful how we approach. Amen. As to not to turn them off. Amen. Or to turn them away. But he approached the queen with a humbly submitted letter. In the scriptures, she said, read the evangelist John 3 and 16 and Romans 10, 9, 10, chapter 10, 9 through the 10th. Verse, amen. All right, all right. Amen. The, the preacher planted this, amen. Yeah. Yes. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, all right. that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. Then the next scripture that she, he asked her to read was Romans 10 and 9 through 10. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, you go. and shalt believe in thine heart you that God go. raised him there from the dead, yes. thou shalt be saved. There you go. There you go. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Right. Amen. And two weeks later, two, we let, two weeks later, the evangelist re received this letter from the queen. I have carefully and prayerfully read the portions of scriptures referred to 
I believe in the finished work of Christ for me and trust by God's grace to meet you in that home of which he said, I go to prepare a place for you. Signed, Victoria. Amen. So she received the word. She received the scripture. And she listened and her heart accepted what was said. And she's a candidate for salvation and eternal life. Amen. Amen. And that was the point I was making. No matter how high you, how high you are yeah. and where you stand, amen, yeah. what kind of degree you have and what yeah. intellect you have, amen, yeah. or even how low you sit, yeah. amen, you still have an opportunity to receive our salvation, amen. The evangelist was confident, amen, that in this life we can have assurance of eternal safety. That's right. And he had a concern for others as well. Consider that John 3, 16 and Romans uh, 10 and 9 means for you and your eternal destiny. Right. What do you feel about those scriptures? Amen. Do you believe? Amen. Do you believe in the son that God sent to be your savior? Amen. Amen. Who died on the cross. Yes, sir. You confessed earlier. You said I'm saved. Amen. Yeah. So I'm trusting that you are a believer. Amen. 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 God desires to give you the confidence that your sin is forgiven and that after death you will be with him forever. Isn't that what we're working towards? Amen. Amen. The most important thing. I mean, it's a simple concept. Amen. We can get convoluted sometimes with a whole lot of other agendas and a whole lot of other things. But the bottom line is, where will you rest your soul in eternity? Amen. Where will you rest your soul in eternity? And if you believe what the word is saying today, amen, you're a candidate for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit. Washed in his blood. Yes, Amen. Amen. And I just want to say briefly to you today. And I don't know you raise your hand. And I'm feeling good about even where I stand today. Amen. That I am. An heir of salvation. Purchased by the finished work of Christ on Calvary's cross. I don't know about you. But I am. An heir of salvation. My life. It's, it's, it's kept and it, my life is promised yeah. that I will see my king yeah. amen yeah. my lord and my savior yeah. Yeah. because yeah. of the purchase finished work of Christ yeah. on Calvary's cross yeah. I, am. I, am. I am repeat that with me again I am, I am. Born, of born of his spirit I am, I am. washed in his blood a new creation molded out of God's unchanging hand. Man will change. Circumstances will change. Opportunities will change. Conditions will change. Health will change. Money will get funny. Relationships will change. People that used to love you will shake give you the cold shoulder. But God's hands will never change. I am a new creation molded out of God's unchanging hands. I am forgiven and not forgotten. God did not forget about me. Amen. He knows just where I am. I was telling my wife the other day, she said, you know, we're going through a lot. I said, yeah. We are going through a lot. Amen. But I said, my Jesus and my Lord knows where I am. And that gave me consolation. Amen. No matter where I am, I know that I'm not forgotten. And that Jesus knows where I am. He knows whether I'm right. He knows whether I'm wrong. Yes, he do. But he gave me the grace. He gave me time to get it right because I'm forgiven hallelujah he forgave me once amen for what I have done amen he forgave me again for what I will do 
Did you believe that? Yeah. If you believe that, then you say it. salvation, walk with surety and confidence. Share it with others. Amen. Share it with others. Amen. I'm preaching to myself too. Amen. Share it with others. Amen. I have opportunities on my way to work to share it sometimes. Someone sitting on the ground, uh, crisscross style like an Indian with a sign in their hand say anything would help. You know, and I said, come help me work today. Amen. Because I'm on my way to work and I don't want to go. Amen. So when I come back from work, then I'm ready to go home. But I said, Lord, let me share some word with them. Amen. Change my heart and my concept about that. Amen. Amen. So I say, do you know Jesus? Amen. In the pardon of your sins. Amen. For God, he can supply all your needs. Physically, mentally, health-wise. Amen. If you just trust in him. The Lord said, tell others about the salvation you have. Because you didn't have, he didn't have to choose you. He didn't have to choose me. Amen. Because I've been through a lot of things in my life. Amen. But thank God when I look back and I think things over, I see how God's grace has preferred me. You might see that. Amen. I went through that. Amen. I almost got shot. I almost got this. I'm just saying this and that. And I survived it, amen. You didn't survive it, amen. The Lord was with you. Hallelujah. So when I think about that, I say, Lord, you brought me a mighty long way. I'm 55 years old, amen. And I can look back and think things over. And I can say that you never failed me yet. And I might be disappointed, amen. But I still have the glory. God still gets the glory, amen. Because I'm still here, hallelujah. So I trust you. See the word the Lord gave me to give you today. If you do, why don't you give God a resounding clap? Hallelujah. Tell God that you love him. Say thank you for my salvation. Lord, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure now. I wasn't so sure, but I'm sure now that I'm saved. And I'm sure now I'm on your side. Amen. So walk with me, Lord. Talk with me. Help me along this work, this journey. Amen. No matter what comes. No matter what comes. What what goes. Amen. And where you are right now, amen. You still have the assurance. Jesus knows. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen.